Hey y'all, it's Wheeler Walker Jr. I'm long overdue to make a statement about my last incident. I wanted to collect my thoughts, seek some real guidance, and come to you with a complete thought before I did. I was made aware of the video being posted to TMZ with hardly any time to think before it was released to the public. <clears throat> the video you saw was me on hour 342 of a 342 hour bender. I was on Natty Light, Regular Natty, Crank, Crack, CBD, Marijuana, Wine, Jack Daniels, Maker's Mark, Ecstasy, Cocaine, Monster Energy Drink, and Prevacid. I snorted Tums, I ate a balloon full of Tide Pods, and I squirted wine cooler into my eyes. I'm not proud of the language I used. Using the words bitches and sluts is not fucking cool. I let so many people down. I let down, I let down my lawyer. I let down my manager. I let down my accountant. Shit. I let down enough Jews to fill up a synagogue. But I believe in forgiveness. I've reached out to the NAOBAS, the National Organization of Bitches and Sluts, and promised to stop using language that offends these skanks. The point I've learned is that it matters. My words matter. When a guy is sucking my dick and I use a gay slur at him, it is not cool. Motherfucker just trying to do me a favor and I treat him like shit. This week, in an effort to do better, I heard some personal stories from actual bitches and actual sluts that shook me to my core. It also made me whack off. I want to end this video on a more positive note. Since that video was taken, I've been sober for over 26 minutes. It may not seem like a long time, but it's enough time to know that the man in that video is not the man I am trying to be. So I've decided to go off the grid for a while and get used to making good decisions. Who knows if I'll be able to live down all the mistakes I've made, but I'm certainly going to try. I appreciate the support I've gotten, but I want you to know I was wrong. It's on me. I take ownership for using words like bitches, sluts, pussy, titties, skanks, dick suckers, and hookers. The time of my return is solely upon me. I've spent the last 32 years of my life getting fucked up and slaying lots of ass. It's time to move on. In closing, I ain't trying to be no holy roller or nothing, but there's a verse from my hero and poet, Too Short, that I think best sums up my situation. Here it is. Stop shaving that cat, girl. You might need to get it waxed, girl. I saw enough of you the other day. You need to go the other way. Everything looks good on the hoe but her face. Turn back around, girl, before you drop it to the ground, girl. I want to see you down on all fours. What you got on drawers for? That's daytime shit. Hit the club when the mall closed and drop them panties, girl. Your pussy feeling better now, ain't it, girl? Strip down to your asshole. More exciting than the last hoe. Just pop that pussy and shake that ass. Pop that pussy and shake that ass.